my fourth college move-in because I went to all my siblings and it's finally my turn. I wonder if any of these other cars are also Lafayette students getting there. I'm here to move in. <laughs> so I'm just gonna relax tonight and look forward to tomorrow. I'm already like talking to my roommate and a couple other girls I know and just ready for this transition. It's been a great summer. It's been a great last few weeks, last few days, and I'm just ready. Honestly, I'm probably gonna miss my dogs a lot. Little things like that. But I think that they're gonna be replaced with such greater things that I don't feel like I'm leaving things behind. And I know that I can still come home. Louie, <laughs> oh my gosh. He keeps putting his bone on all my college stuff. The drawer to that little like container I have was open and he just like dropped his bone in there. <laughs> and then I was like, are you trying to tell me something you wanna come with? I think he knows. He was like, come on, Nina, I'm ready. Living in a dorm won't be new for me, but it's it's a good kind of new. <laughs> come on. <laughs> I've seen that video like a hundred times because I never actually went in the dorms. Hi, I'm Nina. I'm nice to meet, nice to meet you. you. Good to finally meet you. We've been texting and everything. Yeah, yeah. It looks great in here. My daughter's going up to college is so different from my son's going up to college. So Nina had everything she had bought laid out, you know, so we could look at it all together. I gotta show the DIY thing we made. This is gonna go on my wall. I'm so proud of this. <laughs> That's like Nina right there. She's just purely happy, doesn't care. Yeah, I got icing all over my face. What, I'm having a good time, you know? I'd be doing stuff with all the kids and he'd say, I'll take Nina, and he'd take her and he'd say, you're my precious, precious jewel and I like you more than the other kids, <laughs> but don't tell them. <laughs> I'm just excited, like I know the environment so well. I feel really comfortable with my roommate. I love the school, like I love what they have planned for the weekend, so it's more like I'm excited than anxious or nervous. I think they're kind of dog all like swimming. And yeah, this is a video of him jumping in there. Look. <laughs> I think we're ready, and then yeah. she's ready, and that makes us ready. She's gonna be with this group until convocation, and then we have to say goodbye. And she put the crying emoji there, but I know that she's ready to be either in one place or the other now. I know that it's still gonna be a change for them, especially with being pretty much alone most of the time, because I feel like we would do a lot together. And my brother will still be here, but he's pretty much in and out. Nina, come here, I have to tell you something. I'm really proud of her getting this far and how much she's done on her own so to make hard. this happen, yes. I think that you watch a kid grow and develop and you sort of lose sight of how really amazing they can be and then all of a sudden you realize that they are being recognized as special by the school and it makes you kind of look at them again through the eyes of the other and say, you know what? She's... Maybe it's not just us. Maybe it's not just us. <laughs>Nina and I have a special relationship. She's the kid that saw everything that we've seen, like the other the other kids leaving, and we have a lot of shared experiences with her. She became someone that I could turn to and be like, oh yeah, you know how I feel, you know, because you've been here for all of this. That's what I'll miss. I think every parent feels the same way. You just miss the presence of that person on the daily. Eventually, your day becomes different and the space that they took up in your day gets filled with other things and you have them in a different way and that's how life is. I know I made the right decision. I don't have room to worry. I'm just feeling so settled about it.